Introducing Simulate Reference from Tokyo Dawn Labs. This is not designed as a creative lo fi effect suite, but rather as a realistic simulation of a disc cutting lathe. Designed to showcase the challenges of vinyl production, Simulate can help you avoid the most common pitfalls early in mastering. Simulate Reference is a set of reference tools designed to make precise virtual test cuts at no cost to help eliminate issues with your masters before sending them to the cutting room. If your application doesn't depend on project recall, Simulate Reference is effectively free and can be used with no time limits in demo mode. This is thanks to a relaxed demo policy at Tokyo Dawn Labs. However, demo mode provides a truly analog experience with no session recall. Purchasing a license activates recall for professional use. This ensures access to anyone at all levels of the industry. Mastering engineers who regularly create digital masters for vinyl, the student trying to learn the fundamentals of the format, the influencer who can create virtual test cuts for educational purposes, the educator exploring the limits of the format with a classroom, and even the creative minded who can use the filters and model defects for sound design. The Simulate product family are mastering tools first and foremost, allowing you to create excellent digital masters for vinyl. This helps you save time and allows you to expand your services to reach new clients. The included presets are an invaluable tool that allows you to quickly see how your master will hold up on different projects. Simulate can generate a report which can be sent to the cutting room to verify that your master is within the appropriate ranges for their machines. Using a parametric model of a cutting lathe, we can visualize how much space our master will use on a record. You can use this to show a client how many songs will fit on each side of a disc, or plan which size and quantity of disc best suits your release. The statistic panel gives you a visualization of your entire disc, providing a heat map waveform display that shows problem spots at a glance. Push pins are automatically placed at minimum and maximum ranges so you can see if you're within the target ranges for excursion, width, velocity, and land. We can generate a disc report by performing an offline render or by playing the entire record through Simulate from start to finish. In this example, the master is slightly too wide. Stereo width has a considerable effect on the shape of the groove. Since our width is greater than the target, it is advised to slightly narrow this master. You can do so using the width control on Simulate, which will also show you in real time the amount of disk space that you save by narrowing the stereo image. The included processors impact the signal coming into the virtual lathe, allowing you to see in real time whether or not you should filter the signal for optimal results. Every processor is intended to control how the groove is cut. The high pass filter can help you keep excursion under control. Velocity can be kept under control using the low pass filter, and a master that is too wide can impact the width of the groove, which can be controlled with the elliptical filter to bring the stereo image of the low end toward the center. For most of your mastering work with Simulate, you'll be monitoring the input signal before it goes into the virtual lathe. The feedback button routes the signal to return from the virtual cutter head. Or you can choose one of the three different pickup types to hear how your master will be impacted by real world playback systems. Get my book up so you talk up and we're going right here. Learning to use a lathe is a discipline that requires training and access to a cutting room with enough supply for test cuts and mistakes. With schools moving more and more online, this puts students at a disadvantage unless they live near a cutting facility that can be used as a classroom. And that's out of reach for engineers who may be self-taught unless they can find training for themselves. It's you. 
Simulate's reference gives everyone the tools to learn about vinyl's limitations without wasting lacquered discs with test cuts. Teachers and influencers can demonstrate how Excursion claims available space on a disc and teach how to correct it. Or it can be used for myth-busting about music production techniques of the past, allowing you to explore questions about whether it was format limits or tastes and preferences that shaped the sound of classic albums. Because educators and students are not likely to need recall, they can use Simulate in demo mode indefinitely as a visual aid and teaching tool. A natural byproduct of simulating a lathe for technical purposes is the ability to push these parameters creatively. While simulate is not intended as a creative effect, there's nothing stopping anyone from pushing these parameters for textural and creative purposes. Just remember that you only get session recall with a paid license, so if you're using the demo, you'll need to print the effect or document your settings for recall later. As an example, the feedback signal imparts a sonic footprint from the virtual cutting process to your tracks. You can place this on your mix bus and mix into it for a subtle saturated bluing effect with a vintage vibe. Importantly, the feedback circuit has a natural delay that represents the time difference between the incoming signal and the cutting process. This is necessary for a physical lathe to operate smoothly. We can eliminate this by selecting the fixed pitch mode in the lathe settings. Since we're exploring creative uses, the lathe settings don't matter unless they impact the sound. And while these sonic signatures are primarily for understanding the impact of certain decisions on the final master, there is nothing to stop you from creating a distorted, filtered effect with loads of crackle and a high noise floor. We can use the delta to hear only what Simulate's pickup models are adding to the sound, which can help you spot problems. Simulate's playback position impacts the tone of the pickup model. The outer diameter of the record has higher fidelity with a more even frequency response, while the inner diameter of the record can be muddy with less top end. This is designed to help you place your tracks in the best order with minimum impact sonically. But we can use this as a saturated tone control of sorts. Setting the playhead to manual allows us to place it anywhere on the disc. Now we can hear the impact that groove placement on the disc has on the final record, and we can try different disc sizes for different colors of saturation. Editing the defects allows us to activate system noise. Mastering engineers can use this to develop a feel for the signal-to-noise ratio of a disc. This can also be used creatively to add noise. Simply turn down the gain control, which is gain compensated and has no impact on monitoring level. Simulate has a built-in circuit breaker, which cuts the signal if it gets too hot. This is to protect sensitive and expensive cutting equipment. But if we're using Simulate creatively, we may want what's just beyond that circuit breaker. We can turn this feature off in the toolbar menu, allowing us to push the virtual lathe as far as we would like creatively. You'll notice a lack of wow and flutter, and this is intentional. Simulate is a mastering tool that models the cutting and playback mechanisms of disc mastering. Artifacts like wow and flutter are byproducts of warped records, dips in power, rubber bands inside of turntables, and other factors that are not at play during the mastering process. Therefore, this commonly found effect was left out. However, the modeling inside of Simulate is incredibly elaborate. This is to allow mastering engineers to find faults and make adjustments. These models include subtleties that go far beyond today's lo-fi vinyl offerings and are fair game for anyone to utilize creatively. You got me down in my soul.
Whether you're a mastering engineer who frequently masters for vinyl, or you're trying to learn more about the limitations of the format that refuses to die, Simulate Reference is an invaluable tool designed to simplify the process of cutting vinyl for mastering engineers with a license model that leaves no one behind. Tokyo Dawn Labs hopes to bridge the growing knowledge gap between those who know and work with this format and the next generation of lathe operators. Simulate's reference is available in 64-bit VST2, VST3, AU, and AAX formats for Mac and PC. Download the demo version for free at tokyodawn.net. I know you mean right. So no hard feelings, those scars healing, chilling, get back up on this, getting in love. You got me down in my son. Love.